So you got a brand new engine combination and you don't know what EFI system to put on it. Today we're going to show you all of our throttle body EFI systems and match the perfect EFI system to your engine. So the big question is, which EFI system is best for my engine application? Well, as you can see behind us, we got a huge group of throttle bodies behind us and they all do a specific thing. So the biggest thing to remember is that there's three major differences between our series. There's the Street Series, the Go EFI Series, and the Power Adder Series. So let's start off with the Street Series systems. The Street Series is a system that does not have the timing control features of some of our bigger kits, but that helps with making tuning a little bit simpler for you and is also a lot more economical. These systems are broken down into a 400 horsepower version, a 600 horsepower version, and then we also have an 800 horsepower version as well called the Mean Street. The next version up is our Go EFI series. Our Go EFI series is the tumble polished and the black one right here. These ones have a feature called timing control inside of them. With the two pin wire right here, you can plug into a two wire distributor, such as a pro billet distributor. You plug the system to the coil or to an ignition box. And from there, you can build your own ignition curve through our handheld as you would like it to be perfect for your engine. There's a little bit more tuning involved with one of those, but it gives you a little bit more control of how that engine runs. Our next system up from that is our power adder systems. We offer that in a 600 horsepower and a 1200 horsepower version, as well as in a dual quad setup. These systems do any type of power adder you can supply to them, whether it's a supercharger, whether it's a turbo, or even nitrous. These systems allow you to tap into as much tuning potential and the most horsepower potential out of any of our kits. So let's start off with a hypothetical engine combination. You got a 72 Chevy C10 with a small block Chevy in it. There's not really much performance added to it, but you're thinking you're making about 350 horsepower, so maybe it's like a ZZ4 crate motor. The perfect kit for something like this is our Go Street EFI system. This will support up to 400 horsepower and is set up perfect for pretty much any mild or close to stock build engine. Now let's say that that small block Chevy was a 383 and you're on that cusp of 400 horsepower. You're not sure if you're gonna rebuild or change the heads or do whatever to get over that horsepower level. So you may wanna purchase into the future. So our next kit up, the Easy Street, supports up to 600 horsepower. But also remember, this system is in a tuning range. It'll run on an engine as little as 100 horsepower, but as high as 600. So if you got a small combination right now, but you're building a crate motor or you're swapping into something that makes more horsepower, buy to where you want to be, not where you are currently. Because unfortunately, we cannot upgrade these systems. They're all built self-contained, so there's really not an upgrade. It's sell it with your engine and buy a new one for your next combination, or you buy for the future and you only buy once. Now, let's say that you want to do some power adder setups for your 383 stroker. Let's look into our power adder systems. Right here is our 1200 horsepower power adder Go EFI 8 EFI system. We also have a 600 horsepower version, but let's say your 383 is making 500-ish horsepower and you are not running your supercharger or your boost or whatever you want to do currently, but you plan on it in the future. If that's the case, buy your power adder system, run it naturally aspirated, and then when you get that supercharger installed, if you're doing blow through, just put the blower hat on and let the system tune right over your existing tune. You could also start over in the calibrations on your handhelds so you can do multiple tunes for multiple setups but again, you want to purchase for where you intend to be. If you're not doing power adders currently, but you plan on it in the future, definitely go for the power adder version from the get-go. Now, another one to look at is our dual quads. So the dual quad setups are pretty cool, but they have to be used in a pair. So if you're trying to do a tunnel ram setup, 
or let's say you want to put on a 671 supercharger, go for the dual quad setup right out of the gate and you have to use them as a pair. Unfortunately, if you're trying to detune or try to run a single throttle body, the computer doesn't work that way. It's trying to run injectors in both throttle bodies, so if removing one of them, the computer loses how many injectors it's running and won't fuel properly for your engine. Now, one of the big things that we want to look at with the EFI systems too is when we go with the 671 supercharger, our power adder versions, you want to get vacuum readings off of them. So there is a little plug for a root style supercharger that you put in the bottom of the main throttle body to run a vacuum line to underneath the supercharger. This is very important for a properly running root style supercharged EFI setup. Now one of the cool things with the power adders as well is you get a lot more tuning available to you with them. So even if you're not looking at a power adder for using nitrous or boost, but you just want extra tuning capabilities out of the system, the power adder versions offer that. They even come in the handheld pre-installed. You just plug in your handheld into a computer and you can download PC-based software. And that comes standard with all of the power adder EFI systems. All right, so to go over this real quick again for you, we look at the Street Series EFI systems as your introductory simple system that's really convenient to set up with like an HEI distributor or something similar to that. Your next option up is our Go EFI series. This one does the timing control. You don't have to use it, but that is a very nice tuning capability that the system has. Now for the most tuning capability out of all the systems was the power adder systems. Not only can you do nitrous and boost with them, the timing control from the Go EFI series, but you also get PC-based software in the process. So you can tap into a laptop computer and do the most fine-tuning possible out of any of the EFI systems. Now that we've gone over the EFI systems, the next thing to look at is your fuel delivery. Do you need fuel lines? Do you need a fuel pump? What type of fuel pump do you need? Those are some of the big questions to have. One of the biggest things that we would always recommend is trying to get a fuel pump in the gas tank. So the biggest thing that I would look at first is go to our website, check out what kind of tanks we have available. We carry a large array of gas tanks for most popular vehicles from the 50s to the 70s, and some even later than that. So see if you, there is an EFI gas tank ready for you, and that would be your absolute best option. Now, if a replacement gas tank is out of the equation, the next step down from there would be our force fuel series line. That uses your existing fuel system to boost fuel pressure up for the EFI systems themselves. These systems also have a horsepower rating, so look at them and make sure that they'll at least support the horsepower of your setup. So we have the mini force fuel that'll do 600 horsepower, the original force fuel that does 800, and then the dual pump force fuel, which can do a maximum of 1600 horsepower. So you don't need to buy the 1600 horsepower version if you're only doing the 400 horsepower EFI system, unless you want to have switchable pumps, which is totally cool as well and works really great in off-roading or in uh, desert racing applications. Your final option, which is the most economical, but also has some of the most crucial setup points on it, is our inline fuel pump kit. These kits are economical, but with an external mount fuel pump, you gotta make sure that these fuel pumps are mounted below the gas tank and as close to the gas tank as possible. And if you're concerned about hearing a fuel pump, you're definitely gonna hear the inline pumps because the big thing that keeps them quiet is being surrounded by fuel. And a frame rail mounted fuel pump just doesn't have fuel around it, it's outside. Now with all the fuel delivery options that we have available, we go back and we use the reference of a 72 Chevy truck with a ZZ4 crate motor in it, so about 350 horsepower. Our recommended setup would be the Go Street EFI that'll support up to 400 horsepower, an EFI replacement gas tank, which is available for a 72 C10, and then you would also need in that setup a set of fuel lines to run from the gas tank up to the EFI and from the EFI back. We have fuel line delivery options available as well and 20 foot and 40 foot options in black and in a traditional stainless steel finish. Now, with all of the EFI systems, there's some key points to remember with them. Number one, they're a universal product, so any four barrel intake, they should bolt down to. 
So sometimes if you got a spread bore intake, we've seen this on a factory setup where there is a really thin side, you can get a little bit of a vacuum leak, but there are adapter plates out there, really thin stamped steel 3 16 thick uh, adapter plates that can be put underneath that doesn't raise the throttle body a lot, so it'll fit under the hood of most vehicles. So that's one thing to remember. Sometimes you gotta fix some vacuum leak stuff and make sure the throttle body seal, pro seal properly. Another one is the EFI systems work with 12 volt ignition systems. So that means no points, no ballast resisted ignitions like the Mopar boxes. You'll have to upgrade the ignition. And a really awesome option for that is a CDI box, not only with proper fuel distribution with the EFI systems, but a higher spark output provides a much cleaner air fuel burn for the engine so you get better cold starts, better drivability, and better fuel economy in a lot of cases. So also take a look at adding an ignition box such as the Ghost Spark ignition line that we have available. Remember, all of our throttle body EFI systems are universal. So these guys are for a four barrel intake, so they will work on a Holley 4150, a Carter, a spread bore type four barrel intake. But be aware, with all throttle body setups, you wanna make sure there's no vacuum leaks underneath. So you may need to purchase a spacer plate or an adapter plate to make sealing, because some intakes may or may not seal, but we've had really good luck with most aftermarket intakes out there on the market. So there you have it. Look at how much horsepower your engine is expected to make or where you intend to be when selecting one of the EFI systems. Also, look at how involved you want to get into the EFI system as far as tuning goes. Are you going to run a supercharger? Are you going to do nitrous? Start looking at the higher end kits that give you more adjustability. If you just want to play around with ignition timing, the Go EFI 4s are a great option for that. If you want to keep it simple and you just want to plug in a tack wire to your HEI distributor, the Go Street and the Easy Street are absolutely wonderful and they work great. Now, also remember, we got a full line of other products as well. So if you want to dress up a small block Chevy or a big block Chevy, but you want a Ram style intake to make it look more modern, we got those options as well. Not to mention, we also got the two barrel throttle body EFI system. We also got the six pack setup. So there's a lot of different EFI options we have available. So definitely check out FiTechEFI.com for all the EFI systems that we have available. Thank you for checking out this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any comments, please comment them down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to share those as well.